I am magical. I have magical powers. Now, I know what most of you are thinking. And no, I can't see through walls. I can't lift a car with one arm. And most importantly, I can't fly. I'm not the real-life form of an X-Men mutant. I unfortunately won't be starring in the next Marvel superheroes movie. But I'm still magical because I can change someone else's life and make myself happy in an instant. I am a magician. And my magical power is that I can bring people together and create happiness and joy in a room in a matter of seconds with simple, everyday objects. Objects like coins, cards, rubber bands, paper clips, and even our very own hands. I was first introduced to magic about 10 years ago when my family and I were visiting our cousins in Atlanta for Christmas. One day, my cousin called me over and said he wanted to show me a card trick. Now, I'd never really been exposed to magic before, so I didn't know what to expect. But he did the usual card trick. He spread out the cards, had me select a card. This time, I selected the Jack of Clubs. I gave him the card back, he shuffled the deck, and through some complicated method, he placed one card face down on the table. Now, when it was on the table, I knew that the mathematical odds were against him in successfully finding my card. But when I turned over that card and saw the Jack of Clubs, I was filled with a sensation like no other. The feeling was almost addicting. The combination of amazement, puzzlement, and confusion was unlike anything I'd ever felt before. Immediately, my mind went racing. How could this be possible? How could my cousin be this magical? Is that really my card? So that night, I did what most kids do at night. I went on my phone till 1 AM. But this time, I was on an adventure, a search for the secret to my cousin's card trick. And once I found it, I made it my week's mission to practice, practice, practice until I could perform it as well as he did. And then came the day when I finally got to show it to him. I did the same trick to him, but when he turned over the card this time, I didn't get the same reaction because he knew how the trick was done. So it was when I first got to show the trick to my father that I truly realized the power of magic. When he turned over the card, I could see the exact same sensation that I had felt previously running through his mind. And it was at that moment that I realized that if I could share this feeling with the world through my magic, I would be the happiest person. And so from that day on, I've worked day after day to perfect my craft of magic. Now, what keeps me going with magic is the people that I get to meet and the reactions that I get. Now, reactions come on a wide spectrum. There are those who will sit and watch the card trick and say, ha, wow, how amazing. That was unbelievable. And believe it or not, that's the calm end of the spectrum. On the other side, there are those who will see the trick and then sprint out of the room screaming in awe. But through all of these different types of reactions, I can still detect the happiness and joy that I've brought to the room. Magic is also great for connecting with new people. It's great as an icebreaker to talk to people that you'd, you'd never have met before or even people from a different generation. For instance, about seven years ago, my family threw a birthday celebration for my aunt. Before the party, my mom told me to bring a deck of cards in case I got bored. And sure enough, I got bored. So I started going up to random people at the party asking if they wanted to see a card trick. Now, remember, I'm only about seven or eight years old. So I knew exactly what they were thinking when I asked them if they wanted to see a card trick. They were thinking, oh, here's this little boy that probably got a magic set for Christmas or for his birthday, and he just wants to show us, he just wants to show us a trick. Really low expectations. But when I showed them the trick, they were absolutely astonished. They couldn't believe that a, a kid of such a young age could perform at such a high level. And they were hooked. They wanted to see trick after trick after trick. And by the end of the party, I'd met over 40 new adults that I'd never even talked to before. It's really, amazing me, it's really amazing to me to see how magic can do so much more than what's seen on the surface level. And what's really important to me is the underlying truth, the underlying realization that is learned from a simple magic trick. Our whole world, our whole lives are governed by rules. Rules and laws, laws of physics, laws of chemistry, laws of science, laws of math, laws that we simply cannot see past, laws that tell us that a bunny cannot possibly fit inside of that man's hat, laws that say that a torn card cannot physically be restored.
But we magicians, we break those laws. And even though the audience may know that what they're seeing is a trick, they can't get past the, the fact that what they're seeing right in front of their eyes is breaking the laws. And so magic is proof that if there's something impossible, it can be achieved. If you have a goal and it's unattainable, magic is proof that you can achieve that goal. Just like I can achieve the goal of moving a coin from my fingertips to your pocket. Just like the goal of placing a man on the moon was achieved. Think about how impossible of a goal that was. And it was once I truly understood this that I realized that every time that I defied the mathematical odd, odds and did a card trick to someone, I was doing so much more than just entertaining. But I was sharing and empowering others with the message that the impossible truly is possible. Thank you.